Hi, I'm Kayla Streepy, and this is Henderson Today. Will HSC Swimming be getting a new scoreboard? Let's hear from Savannah Price. Henderson State University Foundation is raising money for a new scoreboard for the swimming pool facility in the Duke Wells Hyper Building. The project has been in the works for over a year, but when 39-year swim coach Coke Matthews died suddenly last year, the scoreboard dedicated to him became even more important. With the university now millions of dollars in debt, the scoreboard is to be entirely funded through donations. Currently around 19000 of the $25,000 goal has been raised. A presentation was supposed to be held in October at the Swim Battle of the Ravine for the Athletic Department to make a great push toward the funding. But no one representing the department showed up to the meet, and the fundraiser got no new publicity, raising questions as to why not. Thank you, Savannah. The syrup shortage is causing a sticky situation. Here's more from Blanton Matthews. Supply shortages have been found in countries across the world as the pandemic rages on. One country facing these shortages is Canada, which is currently enduring a maple syrup shortage. In early December, the BBC reported the Federation of Quebec Maple Syrup Producers, or the QMSP, had tapped into its emergency maple syrup reserves, which hasn't been done since 2019. To combat this so-called syrup shortage, the QMSP has planned to tap syrup from an additional 7 million trees during the upcoming harvest, which lasts from February to April. Hopefully this increase will be enough to help the world's biggest syrup supplier bounce back from hard times. Thank you, Blanton. Up next, Momo's is a no-go. More information from JT Dickens. Popular hibachi and sushi restaurant of Arkadelphia, Momo's, closed their doors permanently in January due to personal issues, according to the Oracle, who talked with one of the employees, Sydney Devine. The Japanese restaurant opened their doors in November of 2020 and are closing them a little more than a year later. The building where Momo's was occupied has seen many restaurants come and go, and even a daycare once, but nothing has been there for long. From ice storms to furloughs, Arkadelphia is going through tough times. Let's hear from Kayla Streepy for more. It's officially over, or is it? Last week, Arkadelphia experienced ice and sleet. Thankfully, the town did not have any incidents. Although Arkadelphia was not like most cities, it did take a while for the city to get rid of the ice. Will Arkadelphia experience more winter weather, or will they be heading into spring early? Henderson State University will be implementing a furlough starting February 28th in order to provide a more cost-effective process. This furlough means that one day a week, faculty and staff will not be paid. This has been put in place because Henderson is facing a budget deficit this year. The furlough is only the beginning, followed by the evaluation of academic programs and other means that impact the success of students. In addition to the student FAQs on Henderson's website, there will be student forums to discuss what this means for the future of Henderson. Tune in again to Henderson Today for more campus news.